Mary as Miss Kilo. Ayan. So for Miss Kilo, what is your uh, first impression of the uh, province of uh, Sultan Kudarat and uh, its people here? Um, my own happens to the land. So actually earlier when we arrived at the airport, we didn't expect that you know that welcome right away everyone was just very welcoming and there was like a celebration, a banner celebration at Isha. And when I arrived, everyone started to speak to me like, oh, which you know is our language or dialect. So but I think it's like home to me like being here and um, I'm happy and I'm excited for what's coming in the next show to come for that. It's actually true that whenever we talk about the place, people would often think the Baran Nakatako Cha. And when I arrived here, it changed my mind right away because everyone's just so welcoming and sweet and I'm um, excited. I think we're all excited. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Ms. Lina. Thank you so much. Someone who did absolutely amazing in her life and a transformation. It felt very represented at first because knowing Mrs. Ubini Tunzi, she's someone with the same complexion as I do, uh, someone who has the same, you know, hair, hairstyle that I do. So instead of me feeling bad about it, I felt represented that actually someone that looks like me with a skin tone like me can not only make it to Miss Universe but win the competition. But so what I wanted to clear out to people is that they always thought that I was copying her, but I'm not. We only live once. So why would you imitate someone or copy someone when you can be original? See Alexi Brooks, she's someone who came from a different background. So Alexi Brooks is, you know, I was born and raised in the Philippines and Pelanga ako ng Pilipinas and my fellow Ilongos. So I hope that people would look at me more than my skin tone or my hair. Because my hair has been short four years ago pa. So before Mrs. Zubini Tunzi won the Miss Universe, so my hair has been short na. And the reason why my hair is only in the specific length, kasi in curly community or curly haired people, our hair can only grow through a specific length. And also at the same time, my gender orientation, I feel more confident with my short hair, I feel more empowered. And I think it's important na kung ano ang mas makahapi sa aton, mas piligo naton, di ba? So I hope people will respect that and I hope that they would, you know, um, compliment me more instead of telling me that I'm an imitation or I'm copying someone because I'm totally not. To my fellow Ilongos, Diri sa Sultan Kudarat, I just want to say nga salamat ka ni Anay. Kay, kang ginapagabot namon, grabe ginang welcome. Everyone started speaking to me in Hiligay noon and I was so surprised na ay kanaan gali Hiligay noon. But I want you to ano, continue supporting me, not only me, but to all the girls, Tane, um, we're here and I'm, I'm excited to experience more in Sultan Kudarat. So I hope that you watch our events, especially the national costumes and I hope you cheer for me and all the girls. So, kilitaay lang kita tanan ka, gamo ginyan sa lahat. Ano, and syempre, I'm very happy and excited nga finally someone I mean we have Ilongas nga representatives ang una but this is the first time siguro nga may black American kitang Ilonga and a native one nga ako halin ako sa Leon so I'm very happy and I feel very represented not only the you know the kasi manu ako from Leon and not only the Ilongos people but also here Sultan Kudarat knowing that we're sister cities so I'm very excited I'm very happy and I hope that what I'm doing right now is not only making history but creating a legacy and a pathway to those future generation and to future women that look is look like just like me who wants to not only represent but wants to win the competition